Thank you, Svetlana. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for organising this, this workshop. Um, I'm going to give a few slide summaries just to contextualise this workshop, why we're here, what we're going to be discussing this morning and over the next couple of days. So, we've see, you've seen these logos on uh, the programme of the, of the workshop and I just wanted to explain what each of these uh, organisations are. Obviously you're familiar with the SUSE and SAI uh, organisation which is the um, national association dealing with earthquake consequences and causes in, in uh, Serbia. It's also a member of IAEE. So the SERA project is a Horizon 2020 European project. So it obtains funding from the European Commission. It has a number of partners from all across Europe. And in a moment I'll just tell you a few more things about the SERA project. EU Centre is um, a centre in Italy. It's a partner within the SERA project. It's a centre for training and research in earthquake engineering. And um, we are leading the work package within SERA on the development of the European Seismic Risk Model. And then you've seen GEN, the GEM logo, the Global Earthquake Model. This is a non-profit, public-private partnership. It's also hosted and located in Pavia, where the EU Centre is in Italy. And they're driving a global collaborative effort to develop global seismic risk model and sources of resources for assessing seismic risk, so software, databases, and models. So the CERA project, it's been running now for just over two years. Um, it has the objective to integrate data, products, infrastructure, and know-how on both seismology, engineering seismology, but also earthquake engineering. There's a wide range of community of partners from geophysics and geotechnical engineering all the way up to structural engineering. So a number of different activities within this, uh, this project. One is to bring together the community through networking work packages. So bringing together these scientific communities through workshops. So there's funding to bring the community together. <coughs> there's funding to facilitate access to researchers across Europe to high-class experimental facilities. So the EU Centre, we have a shaking table, one of the largest uh, shaking tables in Europe. And so this is made available there's funding available to allow researchers to come and do their own tests um, using these facilities. There's also a number of other facilities across Europe, up to 10. The project's also providing virtual access, so access through online platforms to data, software, services, all related to seismology and earthquake engineering. And then there are some research activities, and one of them is to update the European Seismic Hazard Reference Model. I'll tell you a little bit about the, the current reference model later in my presentation later today. But in addition to updating the European Seismic Hazard Model, we're developing for the first time a European Seismic Risk Model. So, as I mentioned already, EU Centre is coordinating that effort to develop a European Seismic Risk Model. These are the partners that are involved officially um, within that, that work package. So nine partners from six different European countries. As, you, as is quite evident from this map, there's a lot of countries missing from, from, uh, from Europe in the development of this model. So what we are trying to do is organise workshops, online initiatives, questionnaires, um, email exchanges, to bring more of the earthquake engineering, structural engineering community into the project. Um, for the development of this European Seismic Risk Model, which we will release next year in 2020, in April 2020. Later today, you'll be hearing about the Global Earthquake Model, the Global Earthquake Seismic Risk Model. In December last year, they released for the first time a Global Seismic Risk Model, and what we plan to do is to replace the European component of that, Euro that Global Seismic Risk Model with the output of this CERA project. <coughs> We've had a number of workshops so far over the last two years, um, one on European exposure modelling and uh, quite a few participants of this workshop came to that uh, exposure modelling workshop in Pavia right at the beginning of the project. We had another on physical vulnerability, um, discussing how physical vulnerability should be estimated, what are the best practices, best uh, guidelines and methods to use. And we've also had workshops looking at site amplification modelling because the work package that deals with the seismic hazard stops at a reference bedrock. But for our seismic risk analyses, we need to bring in that site amplification to estimate the ground shaking at the surface. So we've been organising workshops to bring together the community to discuss how we can fill in that missing piece, that gap. 
And then this workshop here is actually our first regional workshop that we're having within the SARA project. So, and we really hope that this is the first of many and that there will be other regional workshops as well in the future. We currently have submitted a proposal for a continuation of SARA, what we're calling the SARA Plus project. And in that proposal, we have requested a large amount of funding for regional workshops. So hoping that that proposal is accepted over the next four years, we should have many, many more regional workshops, also training workshops. Today we'll tell you about the software OpenQuake engine that we're using for our risk calculations. We want to organize training workshops as well within the region. So the presentations today and the next few days, this morning we want to introduce you to the global earthquake model. So because this European risk model will find its way within the global earthquake model, we have a presentation from Dr. Vita Silva, who will be telling us about the methods that they're promoting, the standards, the tools and the software that are being developed for seismic risk assessment. I will then give a summary of where we are with the European seismic risk model, the status of the model. And then my colleague Venetia Despotaki will give a brief demonstration of the OpenQuake engine, the software that we're using. It won't be a training uh, workshop, obviously, it's just a half an hour presentation, but we wanted to give you a feel for what the software looks like, what you can do with the software, and then obviously we're available over the next two days to answer any questions that you have about running, running calculations. Then this afternoon and tomorrow, as uh, Stellan already mentioned, we move to a smaller group, and this is where the real workshop begins. Uh, we have many presentations from all of the participants across the region on different seismic risk-related research that's been carried out, as well as assessment and mitigation activities to reduce seismic risk within Balkans countries. And another key focus of the next two days is to discuss um, development of exposure models, discuss the development of describing the built environment across the, the Balkans, what are the different building classes in the different countries, how similar are they, or how different are they from country to country. Uh, we already have the first proposal of a European exposure model that obviously covers the Balkans. We'll be sharing that and, and hopefully getting feedback and improving that model. So this is what the, the agenda looks like uh, for this morning. So as I mentioned, uh, following from my presentation, Dr. Vita Silva will, will present uh, the Global Earthquake Model. There's just been a slight change to the agenda and we're going to swap around these two presentations and put the open quake uh, engine demonstration right at the end because we think it will, will flow better following the, the presentations from Vita and myself. So I think Svetlana is going to introduce uh, Vita, so I'll, I'll, I'll pass over to Svetlana now. And um, if there, of course there's any questions, I'm very happy to answer them.